24 Masters in full swing now. Practice rounds are underway this afternoon. We have some first-time golfers competing for that coveted green jacket. Nick Proto joining us live now from Augusta National as the new guys get a first look at this test they're going to be facing later this week. Nick. Yeah, Richard, when the gates opened this morning and the patrons flooded in, many of them experiencing this for the very first time and they wanted to take it all in. The food, the course, the patron shop, really get that full Masters experience. But it's not just the patrons, the players. Like you said, we've got a field of 89 this year, 20 of them, nearly a quarter, playing in their very first Masters tournament. They say you only get one chance to make a first impression. Very few places make a better first impression than Augusta National. You're expecting the best and it's better than that. I got here and I didn't expect you could walk on something that looked unreal, you know? All of them looking to cross off every item on their Augusta National bucket list. I'm gonna have to go watch guys skip it on 16th. To be able to say that you've seen Tiger Woods play at Augusta is that's the ultimate. Some people, like JP DuPlessis, fly halfway around the world for a chance to take in one of the most iconic venues in golf. 15 hour flight to New York, and then followed by a two hour flight from New York to Atlanta. That's and right. then from Atlanta to drive over here as well. After trying for a decade, he had to do a double take when he got the email saying he'd gotten tickets. Yeah, I honestly thought it was a scam. I couldn't believe it. And then, uh, yeah, went onto the website, realized, oh wow, this is real. It's actually happening. So dream come true. But these patrons aren't the only ones making their Masters debuts. 20 golfers in this year's field are competing for the first time. That's one short of the record. This is all cool. It's so fun. I've got a bunch of friends from home that flew over. Um, so it's fun to have some family and friends around. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty special. And while the stakes are a little <laughs> higher for the golfers, they're still finding time to take it all in. It's special. Just looking up, looking around. It, it really is. There's a reason why they call it the best golf tournament in the world. While it's great to be out here for the first time, experience is always so key out here. Since the Masters started, only three golfers have won in their first appearance here. Two back in the 30s, and the last one, Fuzzy Zeller in 1979. So, Richard, history is on the side of those who have been at this course before.